Okay, so this is to show you how to use the new soup slicer. See, everyone has this version, which is 2355. This is an older version, but what you can do is click Show Configuration Folder, leave that there to the side, and close that. Now you're going to go to the download. Pick the one that's for you, so I'm 164. And then you're going to extract them all. Now, take all the files. Oh. And cut them. go to wherever you have Super Slicer extracted. I have it here. Paste them in. Now open up the new Super Slicer. Any links that you have should still work. Click Cancel. Now do Help show configuration folder. This is going to be under Super Slicer Regular instead of Super Slicer Alpha. So what you have to do is take your Super Slicer Alpha stuff, close Super Slicer now, ah, copy it if you want to keep your old version functional, and paste it over. Now, my sim link on my taskbar goes to the new one, 2.356 and all your stuff is there. See I choose to keep mine in the old way which if you wanted to look if you wanted it to look like the old one you can do that or you can go to the new version just like that. Yeah, I, I like it best with the old layout, but maybe I'll try to mess with this new one. Yeah, I'm going to use the new one. But anyway, if you notice that it changes and you think you messed something up, that's all it is. And the other thing is usually always have it checked to stay in expert mode, allow extra connections, remember output directory, background processing, you can leave that off if you want. Um, that makes it automatically slice, which can really slow things down on you. And showing compatible print and filament presets, I always leave that checked. Um, suppress default. I mean, that just we have not so much. If you're using my my folder with uh, Alex's guide, there's so many. There's no reason. Uh, but yeah, that should be it.